at Vegware, recycling is really at the heart of what we do. So we have to practice what we preach from inside our offices. Uh, we now have a 91% recycling rate within the offices and we maintain that by quarterly update sessions to the staff so that they understand why they're recycling and what the point of it is. Um, and also we monitor the bins just to make sure nobody's putting anything in the wrong one. <laughs> In 2013, we completed our carbon management plan through the Carbon Trust, um, and one of the key opportunities that was identified through that was to retrofit our lighting in the office to LEDs. In one of our offices, we've now completed all of that, but since then we've gone through some dramatic growth and we've taken on a new office, um, and we're now going to be rolling out the LED lighting into there too. And LED lighting has massive opportunities for savings on the electricity bills. Another thing we're looking at for the new office is more efficient use of the boiler. Um, we have been working with students on the carbon management program at Edinburgh University who are going to be helping us by identifying opportunities and other ways that we can reduce our impact from the office as well. There's lots of benefits to going towards zero waste and reducing waste within your business, including cost savings, increasing your PR, um, competitive advantage, because increasingly consumers are seeking sustainability or seeking services that are more sustainable. You don't need 20 bins in your office. You need a bin for paper. You need a bin for perhaps cardboard. You will need some general waste bins. But when the cleaners come in, they don't need to empty 20 bins. They might need to empty three or four bins. Because what's unique about taking paper, for example, and retaining paper as paper and putting it in a paper bin, is that members of staff learn to value that paper which was once thought of as a waste, now as a resource. And once staff become engaged with appreciating waste as a resource, their thoughts go to other areas like lighting, like heating, like transport, like improving the efficiency right throughout your business. So it actually helps achieve a cultural shift towards improved business efficiency. We have separate bins in the office. Um, the rubbish is segregated into cardboard, plastic, uh, glass and um, metals. And uh, we have a bin for just general waste. Um, for restricting water, we have signage up around the place. Um, just to encourage people not to use run leave taps running or overfill kettles. Just to encourage us all to be kind of responsible and sensible about these sorts of things. What you can see around you has significantly changed from how it was when we first took possession of the property. So there was already some insulation in this section of the building, um, but the, there's been much better insulation put in. Um, the carpet tiles are all recycled um, and the, the, the desks were, were made from timber. You outfit the office once and you use sustainable materials. The heating is controlled by a couple of electric heaters distributed around the office and they're actually seven day timers so they're not on at the weekend or they're during the winter months they're on a, a very low ebb the idea being to just make sure the place doesn't freeze but um, most of the time we don't actually touch them they're set to go on from um, a couple of hours before we come in in the morning and then they're, they're off before we leave at night so um, the heating is kept to a minimum that way. So we chose this building back in 2007 because prior to that we'd been working in a farmhouse and we'd literally outgrown that and we saw this as a great opportunity to buy an old, uh, almost redundant building which we could then refurbish and turn into something quite special and would give us plenty of room to expand in the future. So this is one of our recycling stations and uh, we um, weigh and analyze and record all sorts of waste. And you can see here's just some examples of that with batteries and electrical goods and printer cartridges, poly bags, photocopy toner cartridges, light bulbs, so on and so forth. So everything is recycled here and we're very careful to weigh and log it. So we have a weighing station here uh, and that particular types of waste can be weighed. We then log it on particular charts here and then on a monthly basis, the information that is recorded in those charts is entered into our spreadsheets. We're constantly looking at the amount of waste that we produce, how much we recycle, how much goes to landfill, and, and we can assign a, a carbon footprint against that. So this is one of the typical spaces we have in our office and um, you can see here there's a whole range of different things going on. In terms of the lighting, we've got T5 fluorescent lighting and that's arranged in three different levels, so different 
sides of the office can be lit from the others. Again, only lighting what you need and what you're using. Um, you can see we've got um, an array of windows here. These were single glazed aluminium windows and they've been upgraded to double glazing. All the windows open so in the summer you get plenty of ventilation and you can open them up. Um, and then we have a wet radiator system, surface mounted and all the pipes are surface mounted again to make best use of um, the heat so we're not burying heat um, behind surfaces and, and, and losing the efficiency of that. Um, on the wall we've got uh, thermostatic controls so this is a heating zone and that can be programmed um, in a different way from other zones that are also in the office as well.